In this video, you're going to learn three of the best practices in leadership. Welcome in Promigen. If you are new here, my name is Mibra Zigoya. And of course, the first thing that we can all learn to lead is our thumbs and fingers to the like button so we can smash it. Okay, let's go into the video. The first principle in leadership that you need to learn is leading by example. You know, this is why there is a difference between a boss and a leader. You know, a boss tells you to do things, but a leader shows you what to do right beside you. The leader will struggle with the team. And this is the reason why many don't like bosses, because they just tell you to do things, but they're not there actually struggling with you. But that is also the number one reason why people love leaders, because they are the ones struggling as well. That's awesome and all, but when you're leading someone and you're leading them with an example, you're going to have a strong vision of where you're going to be. And you know, this vision, well, it has to be very powerful. It has to be able to move you, but also the people. That way, the people are willing to follow you because you're going to lead them to somewhere where they want to be at. You know, when things get tough, it should answer, why are we doing this that we are doing right now? And remember, when you are leading by example, you're teaching the people, the team who are following you to take responsibility and become independent. You know, for example, everyone wants a leader that is self-reliant. But let me tell you this, imagine a team of self-reliant people that are independent, powerful, and quite responsible. Now that is going to be a powerhouse. I'd rather you have the problem of having to limit your team because they're doing too much, rather than having the problem of a team that just sits there and waits for orders. You know, you can think of this like good parenting. Preach what you teach and help them become independent. Okay, now the second thing that you need to learn is a sense of strong ethics. You know, leadership cannot be tyrannical because then you could call that lead poisoning. You know, but seriously, your leadership will not last if you continue with tyranny. And this is why you have to have strong ethics. You can't be a corrupt leader. That would not make a leader that a team would willingly want to follow. But this basically means that you need to have fair judgment. You know, taking a little from the previous principle, the leader and the team are in the same boat. If the boat sinks, so do you. So whenever you are in the leadership position, don't go for the short wins that will compromise future wins. It is better to lose a battle than to lose the war. Because let me tell you this, in life, everything is going to come back to you. And there is no person out there that does something bad and gets away with it. And for that reason, there's the famous quote that I will put up there, but I'm just gonna paraphrase for now, which is, it is better to have a king that has a god than a godless king. Because then, at least the king that has the god will be accountable to someone superior to them. And what accountability does is build trust between the team and the leader. Remember, nobody really wants to be led by someone that will stab them in the back. Now the third principle of leadership is going to be perseverance. As a leader, you're going to have a lot of burdens. You know, to lead is to be made responsible for the wins, but also the losses. And many studies show that the leaders are the ones that are most stressed out. And in fact, they are the ones that work the most out of the whole team. And for this reason, perseverance is necessary for you to deal with all of these factors. But let me tell you, it's not all bad. The first thing you can do to make things better is smashing the like button. No, but seriously, there is a quote from Frank D. Roosevelt that says, A smooth sea never made a skilled sailor. And to take into account, no one wants a leader that can only lead when things are good. You want a leader that is also able to lead the people, the team, when things get rough. And for this reason, that is why the attitude of perseverance and grit matter a lot. You know, we as social beings, ideas and attitudes get spread around. And when you look into your team and the reflection, of course, is perseverance, you know you already did a good job. This can-do attitude of not giving up is going to promote your team to places where you didn't even think were possible. Having this type of endurance is going to make sure that you're able to go through the ups and the downs of your journey. So if you would like to watch another self-improvement video, click right here. If that is not you, let me know in the comments what is your proudest moment, you as a leader.